Hello, everyone. As a teen about to graduate high school, I've heard many pieces of advice from adults. Go out there and do what you love, but even that has limitations to it. Be disciplined, and so on and so forth. But one thing I never heard was to go out there and to take risk. I get it. Adults want what is best for us. They want us to be safe and secure. And the thing about a risk is, you do not know what is on the other side of it. It can be good or it can be bad. Being safe is better than taking a risk, right? Now, everyone, I would like you to write down something you've always wanted to do, or something you've always wanted to do but never even had the courage to say it out loud. Thank you. I'm afraid of taking risk. Truly, I am. But I love it at the same time. And the thing about a risk is, it's only a risk until you take it. At the age of 18, I have started up two businesses, one at age 15 and another at age 17. I have furthered and still am furthering my videography, photography, and graphic design career, networked, met celebrities, and more fun creative things. I started my creative journey at an after-school program for the arts right here in New Haven, Connecticut, called CONCAT, where my instructors, Harry Dicker, Steve Driffin, and Jay Kemp, took me under their wings and helped me to become the successful creative businesswoman that I am today. Now, growing up, I always knew I wanted to be successful. Who wouldn't? And then as I got even older, I realized that I didn't want to work for anyone in the future. So as my freshman year of high school came about, I decided to join an intro to business class, thinking this class would give me tips and tricks on how to start and run a business. But instead, this class taught me nothing but how to be a great employee. <laughs> Once quarantine came about, I used that time to not only find myself, but to plan and to research. And in my August of 2020, at the age of 15, I opened up my very first cosmetic business. I did it. I became my own boss. And the only thing standing between me and becoming my own boss was, well, taking that risk. Now, I'll be honest with you all. I always said I wanted to be successful, but there was a time in my life where I was going down the wrong path and hanging around the wrong group of people. I realized that if I want to be successful, I not only had to shift my mindset, but I had to shift my company. The saying you are who you hang around is a very true statement. And now the company I keep is rather small. I'd rather have a small group of friends who had their head on straight compared to a large group of friends who don't. I also learned that to be successful, you need to have a team. And I wanted my team to reflect how I envision my future. As I was reading an article one day by a gentleman by the name of Sam McRoberts, he shares his thoughts on risk taking. He also shares that another gentleman by the name of Leonard C. Green is constantly known for saying, Entrepreneurs are not risk takers. They are calculated risk takers. The goal is not to take risks blindly to jeopardize your future or fortune. That isn't the goal. But it instead is to maximize your chances of success. You have to think of every bump in the road possible. This is the key to choosing the right kind of risk. And to choose the right kind of risk, well, my friends, you have to go out there, start taking some risk. In another article by Junior Achievement in Ernst & Young LLP, Data shows that 41% of teens considered entrepreneurship instead of working the traditional job. At this time, 61% of teen girls thought about starting for business compared to 54% of teen boys. Additionally, 6% of teen boys started up a business while 4% of teen girls have done the same. I asked myself, I said, self, why are these numbers so low? And myself said, teens being too addicted to social media not knowing that you could start up a business at an early age, the feeling of fear, and not having risk takers around you. Only a few reasons on why these numbers are so low. As I'm getting older, risk taking is getting easier. And I'm realizing that my peers work harder to not take risks than to take them. Now, I'm not saying the only way to become successful is by starting up a business. That isn't what I'm saying at all. You can become a successful streamer, like Kai Sinek, a successful influencer like Jada Chivas and Destior. There are so many ways to take good risk and accomplish your dreams. Let's say, for example, you wanted to be a professional basketball player. 
but you're not the best athlete or you're in your 40s or 50s. You might think it's too late. <laughs> but instead of giving up on that dream completely, why not still work in that field, but as an announcer, a coach, or even a graphic artist for these teams? Just because time passes does not mean you give up on yourself. You just have to shift your way of thinking. Learn how to prioritize yourself somewhere within the day, find something you like, and then do something with it. Everyone needs a team to be successful, so why not be on it? Or better yet, create one. I'm afraid of taking risks, I am. But what scares me more is living with the feeling of regret. Not knowing where I could have been if I would just put myself first, stay consistent, and took those risks. Now, everyone, I would like you to go back to those pieces of paper. The first step into risk-taking is writing something down. So, congratulations, everyone. You just took a risk. 